meditate really deeply, awaken my ESP, start to truly understand the world around me, sense the supernatural entities that I've wanted to meet for so long. Prepare myself to experience something truly paranormal. I'm going to post about this on X. Focus is broken, and I'm a muggle once more. Every time, call a younger guy over to check him out as the self checkout isn't working for him. Ring him up. He says he needs breathing room and goes over to the bagging area. Assume he's just out of breath cause he's sweaty. He comes back and starts having like an autism manga fit. While I wait for him to use the card reader, turn the card reader up for him so he can see it. He slams it down and tried to max swipe. Ask him if he has a chip. What's the point of it having this if I have to use the chip? He starts slamming his wallet. Receipt prints out and I wait for him to stop having a fit. He leaves without it anyway. Work in factory. Whiteboard in production room with management names and phone numbers. Asshole manager called Benny. Erase parts of the letters in his name. So it reads Ronnie. This makes him extremely upset for some reason. He erases the whole thing and rewrites it. Change it back to Ronnie. When he's not looking. Foaming at the mouth pissed. Demands to know who keeps doing it. Pokerface.exe. Nobody rats on me because his spazzing is hilarious. Asks Foreman to check cameras. Foreman laughs in his face. He changes it back every day. I change it to Ronnie every day. This has been going on for 3 months. He will break before I do. Yeah yeah I'm fucking autistic I know. Be me. At the dinner table with family. Eating my hot dog too fast. Choke. Oops looks like I just choked on a wiener whole family laughs. Dog laughs. Can hear neighbor laughing next door. Reporters show up to ask me about the joke. Tell them the story one reporter is laughing so hard she has a seizure. Paramedics are laughing too hard to help. She dies. Newscast airs whole town is laughing so hard that people are passing out and dying. Military helicopters inbound. One crash is cause the pilot is laughing too hard. Government deems the town to be some sort of bio weapon. Dumps nuclear payload. Whole town is obliterated. But the country is safe. My face when I'm a funny guy. Be me. Just started high school. Got unexpected boners all the time. Decided to try and develop a fetish to avoid random boners. Idea.mp5. My room is always cold so develop a cold fetish. Works as well as it needs to after training for a couple months. Keep lowering temperature in room before I masturbate. Masturbate to ice themed shit. Eventually stops getting random boners in public. Fast forward to a week ago, work in grocery store boss offers to transfer me to produce department. More hours and more pay so I accept. Okay and on here's the cooler you'll be working in. Cooler. I thought I would be working the floor. No we filled that position. Okay. Working in a 34 degree refrigerator all day. Working with a boner almost 9 hours a day every day. How do I undo this? He doesn't want kids. Construction guy walks by looking at me. Asperger's makes me look at ground. Good morning. Waves. Continue walking and staring at ground. He stands there defeated. I'm very mean to people. But I don't intend to be. This is how it ends. Be me. Me and the little platoon have been marching for almost 15 minutes. Our vans are muddy and the hoverboards died yesterday. I grabbed my pointy shooty tighter. Hear Gucci gang blaring from nearby airports. Suddenly the trees started speaking Vietnamese. Oh hell no dot mp3. Seconds later the horror begins. One of us is hit, but on the way down he manages to hit a last dab. Everybody stops and adds to honor him. While the others were fighting the Vietnamese farmers rescued from area 51 knife loss above the dead bodies. So that their souls could rise up and forever wander the old town road. Smoke comes from the trees. It's strawberry flavored vape. I yell you eat and everyone turns silent. Snoop Dogg emerges from the mist covered in blood but still smiling. Yo what's up my nigga he speaks while looking me in the eyes. I feel the power flowing through me. My skin is slowly turning black. Hey nigga I respond and all the heads explode. Snoop Dogg then pulls out his AR-15. It was currently on discount through the back to school sale. He proceeds to shoot my knees while pulling off his mask revealing it was Guy Fieri all along. My heart stops. My skin turns back to being pale white. All the dead Vietnamese farmers rise from the ground and start to chant. Whilst I'm lying on the ground Guy Fieri comes closer. He lowers his pants and the biggest turd I've ever seen approaches my face. This is the end.exe. I hear him whisper your last trip to Flavortown before I suffocate.
be me. Find online friend on Discord, same age likes and dislikes as me. Play CSGO with each other. Fast forward one year later, friend discovers anime. I don't think much of it. He starts ditching me to become a weeb. Ask him if he wants to play one day. And he said he doesn't play games anymore and just watches anime. My face when. Story time anons and reddit fags. Be me. Born in Ukraine. But have been living in Germany since I was 6. Go visit my family there every summer. Everything is cheap and euro is worth more than their currency. Take some money every year to exchange it and buy all the shit I want. There is this shady guy always sitting in a car behind the bank who has better exchange rates. Go to him every year to exchange money. Seems illegal. MP3. Police doesn't do anything though. His name is something like Valachek, but apparently it's more of a rank. Since there is one in every area, yesterday, be in Ukraine again. Ask someone who that guy is, oh yeah he's part of the Ukrainian mafia they have the police to protect them. What.jpg. My face when the police works for the mafia. My face when I've been making business with the Ukrainian mafia for the past 15 years. Be me. Get job at a home care service. Tasks mostly consists of feeding the elderly medicine buying groceries and wiping old men's asses after they shat themselves. Gets tasked to buy an elderly woman's groceries. Watermelon on the shopping list. Buys watermelon. Gives elderly woman in her 90s a watermelon. She doesn't want the melon. For fuck's sake.jpg. Gets screamed at for buying the watermelon. The elderly woman tries to throw the watermelon at me. I catch the melon. Elderly woman shouts at me that I need to return the watermelon to the store. Get shouted out of the house. MP4. Thanks to some miracle, I successfully return the melon and gets the money back. Drives back to the elderly woman. Tries to give her the money. She is talking on the phone. When she sees me, she hands me the phone. For some reason, she tells me to talk to her older sister. Me. Hello. The sister. Why the fuck did you return the watermelon don't you know how important it is that she eats fruit. My face when, at the verge of tears, hangs up, leaves the house, drives home for the day, cry, be me, depressed, haven't left the house in over 2 weeks, finally decide enough is enough, I go outside, and take in nature, look at the sky, bird shits in my eye, be a feminine, everything is going well, have an unrequired crush on another girl one day. Well fuck. Pretend it didn't happen. And hide it from my family. Even though I was still crushing on girls. Eventually become more open about it. Have a solid friendship with this guy. Redpill.wav. He spends a lot of time with me. And laughs at my shitty jokes. He also invests a lot of time in our inside jokes. By making videos and stuff for us. Other friends and relatives say he's really into me. Didn't see that coming. AVI. One day I open up about my sexuality, he understands. Furthermore he keeps doing a lot of stuff for me, we are really good friends. My face when I'm not really sure if he's either still hoping for a chance or he was never interested in me in the first place. Male bots what do you think? Be me. About 4 moons ago, was walking in the forest testing out a new skin. See one of those fur head things walking alone. Shooting my skin. Gif. Decide to follow it to see if there are any more in my woods. It seems on edge like it knows I'm there. It does nothing though and goes back to its fire circle where there are like 7 more of them. Part of me is saying no, nope, but another part of me wants to get a closer look since I've only ever heard about these things from other skin bros. Fire circle starts to get darker. One of them decides to go look for more wood. The one I followed warns him that it's not safe. They're onto me. JPEG. Decide to get a closer look. I transform into the one that left to get firewood. Come over to the fire circle. They ask me why I don't have any firewood. Autism kicks in. There was none. Try to smile. Creeps them the fuck out. I'm spurging out and can't act natural. They notice. Start questioning me. Realize the other guy's gonna be back soon. Tell them I need to take a shit. Go back into my natural form and hide in the tree line. He comes back. Carrying an ass load of firewood. They realize what's going on. Holy fucking shit. PNG. I've heard about what these fur heads are capable of. All of a sudden one of them sees me in the tree line. Nope.avi, turn 350 degrees and get the fuck out of there as fast as I can. Expect them to come after me. Instead they leave my forest. Alpha as fuck. What do you think skin bros? Do you think they're gonna come back for me? 
to this day I still sleep in the dark.